I always had teachers who were really believers that you should do Bach every day, solo Bach every day. I think the first Bach that I learned, I learned by ear. My father used to take some piano lessons and he was learning one of the two-part inventions and it didn't occur to me that a person wrote it. It was just music and I was, I was very little and I still remember it very, very clearly. Two decades ago, I made my first recording. It was three of the six sonatas and partitas for solo violin by Johann Sebastian Bach. And now, the new record that I've made is the rest of the six, the remaining three of the solo sonatas and partitas. I've lived with them ever since, and I've changed my way of playing them, obviously. I always knew that there might be a chance to record the rest of the set because the first recording was three of the pieces and then three remained and people kept asking me if I was going to record them, when am I going to do them? If I did them immediately, that would mean that I didn't have them ahead of me to do and I love playing them. Solo Bach in my life is an arc. Um, it's always there. It, kind of spans everything else that I do. So it doesn't matter if I play something two days in a row or 20 years apart, to me it's still all related. <laughs>